Hey, what's shaking, soldiers? Coach Donna J here, aka the Bossless Boomer. And yeah, you can tell I am no longer in Mexico. I had to return to Michigan for a spell. So um, today, it's not been too bad. The sun has been shining, but it's going down now. And of course, that makes for a cooler temperature which requires me to have on a jacket, unlike in Mexico, where usually I just have on a my baby leggings and some thin little check jacket top. But here in Michigan, my cheeks are cold <laughs> and uh, I'm out for my exercise, my walk, and I thought I'd pop in. Look, if you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe. It helps with the algorithms. It doesn't cost you anything. And go ahead and hit the like button and the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I put up a new interesting video about living abroad in Mexico, the benefits, uh, health benefits of travel. Um, learning how to get your TEPL certification if you're interested in teaching English online as a foreign language. And then also any other thing that baby boomers and late bloomers find intriguing. With that being said, why did I have to come back to Michigan? Well, one of the things with getting your residency is that you have to start that process in the U.S. At least I do because I'm a U.S. citizen. So if I want to get my residency in Mexico, I have to start the process here in Michigan. So I want to go to the consulate that's in Detroit. Now, if they don't come through in the next two months, I've talked with my lawyer and I'm willing to go to Louisiana or North Carolina or even Atlanta. As a matter of fact, I could have went to Atlanta this week, this past week, because they were open. But because I had already scheduled a flight back home to come and get my taxes done and get some things situated with my home, I just, I didn't want to have to go through all the rigmarole of going there, getting stuff done for the, the visa, and then getting on in here and getting my other business that I needed to get done. So trust me, this is a temporary little little visit here. I'm thinking that I may stay a couple of months. By that time, I should have all my paperwork in with the consulate and be back in Mexico by May or June. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, be well, live free, and prosper.